did you know that there are only less than 70 Javan rhinos left in the entire world? Many of these animals were murdered for their horns. But conservation biologist Colian Pink has been championing the use of technology, such as drones, to learn and protect wildlife and plants. Hello, Mr. Ko. Could you tell us more about how drones can help us learn and protect our biodiversity? Hi, Marie. Drones are just like toy airplanes. Some of the most interesting and endangered wildlife are found deep in the forests or high up in the mountains, places that are difficult and dangerous for people to get to. Scientists can now send drones to those places to take photographs or videos of those wildlife so that we can learn about their ecology and help to protect them. That sounds awesome. Can you tell us a story about a successful drone mission? Sure thing. I'll try not to drone on. <laughs> a few years ago, I was training a team of scientists in Nepal to use drones for patrolling their national parks to protect their endangered wildlife against poachers who want to hunt and kill those animals. But during one of these missions, the drone spotted a pair of one-horned rhinoceros taking a bath in a river. That data allowed scientists to know the location of the rhinos and to be able to track and protect them. Thank you, Mr. Ko. I feel so much better knowing that technology is helping to protect our biodiversity. You're welcome, Marie. Keep exploring and innovating. You could invent the next new technology that makes our world a better place. Bye, Marie. Bye. Wow, I can't wait to start discovering new innovative ways to help protect our biodiversity. Do you know any new technologies that are helping conservation efforts? As my favorite scientist Marie Curie once said, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Don't let fear keep you from exploring. See you next time. Whee! <laughs> to watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.